braids actually weren't bad at all at this point but it had been over a month and a half and my scalp was itching so i needed to refresh my braids so of course you know i have to cleanse first i'm giving y'all an aesthetic cleanse because i do like to make this process a vibe and i literally just shampooed my hair but if you watch look at how gently i just kind of run my hands in between the hair and i make sure that my hair is fully saturated before i even add any shampoo <music> This might seem weird, but the main thing that I find that my hair needs just in general is water. That's where it gets most of its moisture from. So after I cleanse my scalp and thoroughly rinsed it out, we are going to skip conditioner at all costs. I promise you the hair doesn't need it and I'm wringing out as much of the water as possible. A microfiber towel is key. If your hair retains moisture or water like mine does, then I would recommend using at least two because I'm really trying to dry my hair out so that I don't have like any scalp issues later on from a bunch of moisture just sitting on my hair and not properly drying. So I also made sure to like shake it out, air out my scalp, loosen it up and kind of remove any of that extra like product buildup. I really go in on the blow dryer at least a good 25 to 30 minutes because I don't use it on a high heat setting. I either like to use it on one or two with this Dyson blow dryer and ensure that my roots are primarily dry over the ends. But as you can see, I blow dry everything. preventing all of that frizz and kind of like the messy untamed look and then I just tie it down with a do-rag and I typically will let this sit overnight because at this point my hair is dry it's kind of like the perfect way to really lay your hair <music> The morning after, I took the do-rag off and you can see braids are refreshed, okay? There's like a little product buildup here and there, which is perfectly normal. And that's why I do not put product on my braids. Outside of like a little bit of edge control, that's every now and then, honestly. But that's just from the original product that was put on the braids because you know like they use like that gel and stuff. And so it's bound to build up at some point. Doing right now is I'm just fluffing it out. I didn't put anything on it outside of that leave-in conditioner, which was a spray. It's very, very light weight, so it won't cause like any buildup or anything. That's what I would advise is something that's super light and the mousse. And the mousse is going to be great for hold and moisture, specifically the dew. Not all mousses are created equally. A lot, some mousses are just like really hard and crunchy and they are to provide hold that one to me is literally the best mousse on the market currently in terms of it gives like light hold but it also gives moisture so you can use it as a standalone product and i love it because it works well on my natural hair works well on my braids you know just all across the board so right now i'm trying to like lift up these curly pieces and kind of just add some volume to them because they have been flattened with the shampoo and the 
mousse and I want to make these like the prominent pieces because I do feel like that kind of makes the braids what the braids are and so I'm gonna fluff them out some more they're still just ever so slightly damp but it's okay because I'll be outside all day long today and they are going to um come back alive you know they'll be all right and the last thing that I'm going to do is I will be doing my edges a little bit today. I tied my hair down flat with that do-rag so that all of my parts, it, it almost like refreshes the parts without having to do anything. Because now the parts are no longer like big and frizzy because I laid them with the mousse and I tied them down. So now they're flat and the parts are prominent again. It's methods to my madness. So let me see which one I'm going to use. Edge booster or I guess it doesn't matter because it's cold outside. So I'll use a bit of my edge booster. I typically use LK Naturals, but this should work just fine. And my Pattern Beauty edge brush. I also like to wet a towel a little bit. This is the microfiber towel that I used last night just to keep the edge brush clean so that you don't have those chunks of product when you're doing your edges. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Because it builds up in the brush. And then sometimes that translates on the hair. And that's not what we want. We don't want all of the product to be stuck like this. I'm going to wipe that off. I'm just going to tie my edges down. Hopefully this helps in making your braids last and stay nicer longer. Obviously this method is going to vary if you have boho braids that are synthetic because that synthetic hair is going to be tangled. It's going to be a mess. So I can't guarantee you this because these pieces are human. They just look beautiful to me. It kind of gives beach waves like I just got out of the pool or I've been at the beach or something like that I have been at the beach but you know it's kind of what it's giving comes a time and a place when it's time to take out the braids and I like to give my hair about a week's break in between each braided style so a couple of weeks after doing the first part of this video I did take these braids out the key to this are detangling these sections and then wrapping them up so that they don't get tangled again like you see me doing here so I do bantu knots and I really make sure to remove all of those dead kind of like shedded hairs because they will not trust and believe. This mask is actually for transitioning hair but it literally has the best slip I have experienced so I always use it when taking down braids because my hair does typically tend to feel a little bit thicker coarser and harder to detangle as you can see here and I mean look at my curls popping this mask is amazing I wonder what it would look like if I let it dry on my hair This might seem so random, but I prefer shampooing or rinsing out my natural hair in the tub. The feeling of the water just rushing down, I don't know, it's just super, super satisfying. And then after I blow dry my hair, I am ready to be prepped for a new style. So that's it.
Hani sürezi zamanı, gelin kalsın, cüvesi yiyin, ağrı var. 